often forgotten for its bigger neighbours, this island has much to offer. Deserted beaches, unique city views and a charming town. It's a memorable day out away from the crowds. This is Drone and Phone and today I'm walking around Peng Chao Island. And welcome to Drone and Phone, the show where I take my trusty drone on my back here and the phone that I'm filming with you right now and show you some of Hong Kong's best one day outdoor adventures. We're on episode 15 and a brand new series. Do you fancy escaping to somewhere like this occasionally? Well, we're going to be looking at Hong Kong's five best island escapes, and today we're in Peng Chao. Many of the best island escapes in Hong Kong only offer irregular ferry services, often only at the weekend. But Peng Chao is easy to get to, with boats leaving from central every hour or so. Often skipped for its larger neighbour Cheng Chao, Peng Chao has a more local feel and on the day I visited very few tourists to compete with. Coming off the ferry, I turned left along the fishing port past some small temples, slowly making my way onto the paths out of the town. The coastal path takes you past secluded beaches to the northeastern tip that looks back to the city. Well, I'm just coming down to one of the many, many very small beaches on Peng Chao, a real charm of the island, particularly if it's not a weekend, you can get away and have one of these beaches all to yourself. This one is very special. Just out here we have a fantastic view to central, the tall buildings in central, and Kowloon on the other side of Victoria Bay again. Fantastic cityscape, but just over here, we have a view of Disney, which is just across the water on the other side over there on Lantau Island. Probably a nice place to watch the fireworks, but for me, just a great place to take a maybe 15 minute break. The island curls up like a horseshoe around the main beach, which I enjoyed for a short while before concluding it was still too cold to swim and cross the short stretch to the main town. You can spend several hours wandering the small alleyways with a mix of shops selling local fares, food and some higher end establishments. I pushed through to the south side. There's a modern promenade that you can turn off and into the farms in the hills above until you reach the highest point on the island. A great place to look back over where you've been for the day and look out for a ferry coming into the port to take you home. Well, I'm just coming to the top of the tallest point, Finger Hill in Peng Chao. It's been a really nice day today, pretty easy going. Some beautiful secluded beaches and a nice town to discover as well. Well, if you like this show and you never want to miss an episode, please like our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash drone and phone. You'll also find all of our previous episodes nicely catalogued at droneandphone.com. I've now reached the top and I'm going to enjoy this fantastic view as you have from many vantage points on this island. <laughs> 